the biggest Texas dream in LA. Hi, casting crewmates. I'm your new rootin' tootin' chorus cowboy, Guy Silcox. Oh, and I am so happy to be part of the show. Woo! Oh, <laughs> hey, we should probably have a quick chat. Hey, Jay! Yeah, um, Woo. look, Guy, um, uh -huh. we just found out that the show is closing. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, cowboy. Uh, look, if you want to grab a program or two, they could be collector's items someday, so... Lies! Help your lies, 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 lies! Lies! What show do I star in now? Huh? Become a superhero on the Hollywood Boulevard? Huh? 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 We're not done here yet, Buster. I'm sorry, I'll have to go buy a Spider-Man costume to go back for changing the street. Buster, wait. Kelly, don't let him out of your sight. We need him tonight. I'm sure it still works. Well, that starts the clock. 30 days of this show left. <sighs> Good. We have to get this wrapped up by this summer or it will literally be my anus. You know, you can say but. It's a little less disturbing that way. Hmm. Human resources. Hmm. It will literally be my butt or ass. It will literally be my butt or ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's perfect. So. Is there a special guest on his way? The car picked them up 20 minutes ago. Excellent. Maurice! You. You're a pitiful waste of excrement, you miserable wino. You blame my drinking for closing the show in front of everyone when I've been sober for more than four years. Hmm. Nat, I thought you were some sort of HR sensitivity guy. Did you hear the shit he was saying? Gentlemen, and I stress Gentle. Okay, let's just sit down so we can discuss exactly how, when, and where you failed our company. Uh, we didn't fail, okay? You guys pulled the plug early. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff. Why do we insist on beating off around these bushes, huh? What? I don't like you. Your audience doesn't like you. Even Elena doesn't like you anymore. Uh, yeah, great. You're gonna bring up my ex. Nat, will you get this ass clown out of my office, but please? But she does like me now. She likes me on the top. She likes me on the bottom. She likes her ass. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? You can have her, okay? Why would I even want her back after she's been swooned away by a slimy dirtbag like you? So juicy. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, and I do stress gentle, okay? Dirtbag. You are an herbal city manager, which is why we fired you seven years ago in Quebec. So you could rush back to your precious Hollywood, huh? You know what? I'm the best damn theater manager this building or your company has ever seen. I was more than happy to leave Canada after working with you. Jay, I can't find Buster. Our star has left the building. He has no backup and without him, we don't have a show. Wait, wait, wait. He's not in his dressing room? No. I told you that I'm tired of him threatening our performances with this diva sass of his. We should have had a backup for him by now. The budget doesn't allow for another star, okay? You don't just make another buster, okay? You have to find them. <laughs> Our great theater manager is a star with no understudy. And the snappy excuse for it? Held to the demands of an acrobatic diva with talent beyond compare. What a success you are, Jay. Have you called his cell phone? Oui, but he left it in his dressing room, see? <laughs> Ooh la la, nice shorts. Maybe we should have more of our employees wear these, no? Well, not you, Jay. Kelly, will you check with security to see where he's headed? All right, he must have passed one of them on the way out. Okay. Tony, try his boyfriend, okay? At this point, I really don't know what else to do. Oh, God. Okay, let's get serious, shall we? Why don't we um, go have a drink? Jay, I'll buy you a first one. Let's go. <laughs> that is wicked. <laughs> I mean, wickedly inappropriate, Maurice. Oh, did I forget to mention that uh, Francois Lamar, the president of Smack, will be joining us to watch the show tonight, along with his lovely assistant. Wait, Elena is here? Yes, my fiance and I will be enjoying this show from the box seats. Maybe we should invite you to our wedding. But enjoy the open bar, no? <laughs> Prick. Fiance?
Oh, I think I know where Buster is, but I still think we need a backup just in case. Hey, I was hoping you might be kind enough to help me fix my guitar. It's a long trip home without any music, without my dear Abby. She's my hillbilly iPod. Hey, don't look so down, cowboy. You're going on tonight as the star. <laughs> I am, but I thought that- Yeah, Buster... buck up. The show needs you. Hollywood needs you. Now go straight to the training room down the hall. Learn the part as fast as you can. You're never gonna learn it all, but just do as good as you can, okay? I gotta go. Come on, cowboy. You've got some serious work to do. Yeah! I won't let Hollywood down, sir. Oh, Vlad. Oh, Myerson, God. we need to talk. Not now, Vlad. Come on, guys. I gotta go. You I said gotta... show would last for many years to come. If it closes early, silent investor will lose many dollars. Guys, if you want a straight answer, go talk to the two guys that showed up to shut us down, all right? If we find out that you haven't done everything possible to save the show, investors won't care about them. Are you pregnant? <sighs> no, I'm not. No, I just have... <sighs> Look, guys, I did everything that I could. And with the 30 remaining shows, I think we can get back the original investment and keep Mr. Silent partner silent. Sound good? All right. You better do more than that. We all expect nice return on our investment. I know, yeah. Okay, and Jay, the green room is out of coffee creamer again. Is that that hard to keep an extra cream around? No, I'll... You know how the black coffee hurt my sensitive tummy? Yeah, I'll get right on that, guys. This is showbiz? <laughs>